We've got 50 gold. Okay, I wonder if this was when we died is when it saved. Wow, so the adventure long thing might not have happened? Hmm. Well, through internet magics, who we are. Is that cheating? Might be a little cheating, but you know what? That's okay. Sometimes that's just how it be. Sometimes you boys should read. <laughs> not today. Yeah, I'll find a spook. Well, anyway, I could cut that out and make myself feel better about it, but you know what, boys? This that raw footage. So we're just gonna go ahead and grind out a bit through here. Um, last episode was really long, so uh, if we get into a big grind fest, whether I'm talking or not, I will probably do like some kind of fade or something, and we will just get back into um, either some more intense action. Like that skeleton fight could have been, uh, you know, slowed down. Ooh, scorpion too. Ooh, I have an herb. I think I'm gonna fireball him. Scorpions are a bit stronger. Probably not as bad as skeletons though. That may have been the first one we've seen. 25 gold, uh, y'all. So for the most part, guides for this uh, are basically like, this is here, this is here. And then it's like most of the time like, hey, grind. Hey, grind, don't forget, you grinding? And um, of course it always wants us to just be buying the, uh, the next best gear that we can get. So let's hope we don't die to this guy. He has killed us before. Maybe not this particular dude, but uh, definitely a mag uh, Draki. Awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use an herb. I have three. Yeah, Pax Wound will heal, that's right. Mess with this guy, all right. So we're gonna head back to Garenham, and then south and then west. So I will see you probably when we get to Garenham, maybe a little south of it. All right, guys. We've made a quick pit stop in Garenham because we do have a good amount of gold. We have 200 gold. I'm kind of glad we loaded in now. It would have been a lot harder to get there from 50. So let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade into at the moment. What was it that I wanted? Well, that's a great question. Um, we could get a copper, which would be nice. And we're still quite a bit away from chain. So uh, luckily, if we buy an upgraded weapon, if we kill them quicker, <laughs> they will hit us less. So. I kind of want to do it, yes. And then, you know, if we can kill some stronger things quicker, we'll level up, get a ton of money. You really, uh, you saw back there and we were getting, you know, 25 gold a kill. That was really coming in, in handy. So we can also sell, now that we have this copper, this club here, because we're the only party member we're gonna get. So, 30 for it, good, thanks. Anything else I can do for you? No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stay at this inn. Uh, I don't even know if I got hurt on the way, but you know what? Might as well. And then I will see you guys once again uh, as we get a little bit more on our journey south into some areas we've not seen. Oh god, a magician. Uh, I guess we'll use our swords? I don't know, fireball might, might do. Alright, cool. Here we go. Double fireball that boy. Click. Oh, thank god. 42 gold. We're gonna go back to Garenham and heal up. If we can make it back. Oof. Dang, that's a big landmass. Oh, on the bridge. Oof. This could be a bad time. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> this might look familiar. Yeah, it was pretty rough down there, so we're gonna come here, rest up, and then head back down. But we do have 240 gold. Um, we didn't level up, I don't think. Let's let's check it out. Level six? Okay, cool. So, uh, but we can't be too far away from another level, so might go back down and back up. But as I said previously, last episode was pretty long, so expect a little more fading between, you know, now and later and that kind of thing. And maybe you've seen that already. Now, nah, magicians seem to be glass cannons, so that's cool. Ah, uh, here's the cave. This is the cave we were looking for. But would you believe it? I didn't bring a torch. I don't know why I thought cave without a torch, so we will... Grind up here till we get another level or so. We will upgrade our armor and then we will be back. Hello guy, buy and sell armor. You're just the dude I'm looking for. Man, I'm really keeping this guy in business. 
Man, iron only gives you three more, but it costs so much. But we're gonna have to have this chain mail to do that cave. Alright, now let me sell you something. Yeah, go ahead and take this leather off me if you don't mind. 35 gold? Cool. I don't know how much I bought it for. What did it say, 70? Alright, so I guess you can sell things for half. That's pretty fair. Some games where it's worse than that. Yes, I would like at least a torch. Thanks, man. No, maybe an herb? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, thanks, brother. You have a good one. Back to the cave! Alright, we've lit our torch and we are now here. I have heard that this is much more maze-like, so all the compliments to the tomb. Uh, I mean, you know, still in effect, but this is definitely supposed to be hard, I think. So let's see how we do in our first dungeon. Is it a dungeon? I, I really don't know. Yeah, let's cast some fireball. We're working with a lot of magic right now. Hopefully that's going to pay off. Very nice. Pillar. Nothing there. Alright. I'm like, I'm in Zelda brain. I'm like, can we bomb it? Probably not. Probably not, young pags. Alright, did we go in a circle, though? Oh, I feel good about this. If this ends up being a dead end, I'll be real sad, though. Oh, wait. I do think I wrapped around. Oh, spooky is nothing. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's, like, separated by floors with how hard it is, too. I'm like, scorpions are nothing to shake a stick at, but if we don't run into any skeletons, I think we'll be fine. I was super worried that we were under-leveled here. Um, but hopefully our chain mail comes in handy, too. Oh, well, it didn't say chain mail. We just got a chain. Just a little keychain, dude. Absorbs just a butt-ton of magic damage, I'm sure. Nothing there, either. All right. Usually I like to hug a wall and go that way. I don't know if I've done that. I think I've just been trying to wing it. Oh, we're back at the pillars. Dang it, the pillars make me feel like we're on the right track. Ooh, the one-shot magician, dude. Ooh, man, it, it just feels so good. Is it this way? No, that's a dead end, too. Uh-oh. All right, so we've totally wrapped around. So, I need to fight my, my will to go away. I think we've gone already in hopes to uh, change it up, except that was also a dead end. Rip. All right, I guess we'll, we'll go through here and that'll be our wraparound. What is that? What did it say? Oh, I fear it. An eye deer? An eider? Okay. I have seen them in 3D before. I have not seen them in, a, in this game or in a 2D sense so far. Very, very nice. Not too much. Um, now, if we did run into a skeleton, we'd probably die. I won't lie to you. Go up here. Oh. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. How about down? Yeah, let's just keep going down this way. If it starts looking like a place we've been before, we'll, uh, we'll boogie. You say it looked like he didn't know we were there or something? We get to sneak up on the scorp. Very nice. Oh, no, that's a dead end, too. Oof. All right, let's try this way. Is this the way we came in? I don't think so. Oh no, but it's a dead end too. Ah. Oh. See, I think the thing with this guy is he's beefy, but he doesn't do a ton of damage, but it will weigh us down. Um, weigh us down. It will get us down, you know, after a few encounters with him. So let's go ahead and use an herb. All right. 38? I do think that's max. I don't know if herbs will always max this out. Um, I'm doubting it. But again, I, I've not, not gotten that far in this yet. Okay, that was a long corridor. Ooh, this looks different. Okay. Oh yeah, we did it! Right. Now... Is there another floor? Is this the next, like, last floor? Oh no! A poltergeist! Uh, do I magic him? He'll probably be weak to physical attacks, right? Like, he won't have a ton of health. Oh, double fireball. His agility must be really good. Oh, no. Okay. Oof. Not a lot of XP from him, either. So he must be weak. But he definitely gave us a punch or two. Oh, my gosh. Is this a dead end? 
Maybe this isn't the right way to go. Oh no. Please don't kill us, Mr. Skeleton. Oh. If we could live with one HP, or we could die. Oh my gosh. Okay, three HP it is. I cannot believe he hit us first and we survived. Level seven, well that's good. We can't lose that, I think. We gained six agility and sleep. All right, that's pretty cool, but I am horrified. Let's keep using our herbs so that we can save our magic for fireballs. Yep, 38 right there, okay. So that is pretty good. Now let's get out of this room. This can't be it. Um, I think there's supposed to be some kind of sweet reward, so... Must be another way down. Oof, which feels bad, I gots to say. Really thought we'd done it, boyos. Here's a body of water. We've never seen this before. But the real question is, where do we go from here? I want to go down first, I think. I feel like that would be kind of following the, the right wall kind of uh, mentality. Even though that's not... <laughs> it hasn't paid off, nor have I followed it very strictly. Okay, so this comes out over here. Now I'm wondering if I screwed up somewhere. Oh no, are we just like back in the main... The main maze now? Oh, we've just gotten so far off base, I think. Okay, here's some more pillars. Are these THE pillars? No, these have to be the bottom pillars. Alright, I'm so gonna backtrack in a second if we... We don't get it figured out here. Ugh, I don't want to waste magic on the scorpion. Two damage! Okay, I swear he's doing more damage than that before. Maybe the chain is super effective against those guys. That uh, six extra armor helps a lot. Oh, ho, ho, we maybe we did go the right way. What are the chances, dude? Oh, wait. Okay, no, this is definitely a floor. This isn't like a one room kind of deal like before. Oh, uh, let's hope we live. I don't know who the gods and goddesses are of Dragon Quest, but if y'all be praying, that'd be alright. Let's see. I'm feeling like down, is it? Wait! Open the chest. 670 gold! That's what I'm talking about, man. Now let's see if we can live with it. Oh, snap. What is that? A Drachima? Oh, but he was destroyed. Okay. Oh, but we didn't get too much XP and gold from him, so maybe he wasn't that spooky at all. Uh, Poltergeist. Alright. Oof. Not bad, not bad. He actually didn't, uh, he didn't cast any magic on us. I don't know what I said oof for. Oof maybe because he was a friggin' Dorcas, because he only did four damage. Oh my gosh. A torch? Oh, alright. Dude, I'm mad at that. Wow, there's so many chests. I love it. Is there anything in this room? Oh, I think we got an empty one, boys. No encounter, though. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, this was the one I was fearing, man. And we're so low on magic that... If we run into, like, another one, I, I fear for our lives. And I don't really want to use an herb yet, but if we get into a battle and have to use one in front of a skeleton... Oh, it's just so scary. Alright, let's keep it on. They do... They do between, like... I don't know, 7, 10, 11 damage? Something like that. Some some mixture of those numbers. So we could live. We could die. Um, okay. We are in the thick of it now. I could not get us back out. Quickly dodge the attack. Oh no! Alright. For life, this is what we must do. Alright, things are spooky now. Things are real bad. We've got, like, no magic. We have a ton of gold. Let's heal and run. Pag's wounds were healed. Good. Now let me get out of here. I think if I head up forever and then left, staircase should be around here, right? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, God, it's hideous. A droll. A droll? Uh, probably a droll. Like I said, I, I have definitely gone whole episodes calling things by their wrong name. So let's hope I'm not super far off base on that one. Alright, no way that the exit's down here. <laughs> Wait. 
There's some torches though. Oh no, but it's a skeleton! Can I flee? Oh no. Can I try to flee again? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Alright. Well, might as well fight it out. The fleeing probably killed me, honestly. Oh wait. Oh my gosh. But I mean, what do I do here, you know? I mean, what do I do? That's so rough. Right, and that costs three. Okay. Open the chest. The mystic nut? Okay. <laughs> the strength seed? Okay. So those are like permanent stat boosts, right? Strength seed, use. Pags use a strength seed. Pags strength rose by three. Very cool. What about this mystic nut? Pags max takes MP rose by three. Oh, but it didn't like give me the three. Unfortunately. Oh, a droll. Can I actually flee? <gasps> I did. Wow, that's awesome. Except now I have to get out of here. Alright, well, I expect to lose half of our money at least. But that's okay. All in all, I think pretty good cave. I'm just gonna try to flee from everything. And uh, as I said before, pray to the Dragon Quest gods. And then uh, we'll go from there. And we were slayed. That's the thing I know about Final Fantasy without even playing them is that they've got a lot of like religious, you know, kind of backdrops and um, things like that. Whereas this, I know there's priests, but I don't really hear so much about specifics. Yeah, listen, there wasn't a town nearby, dude. You think there's like a mining town down there? Yeah, I'll say. Quest has been recorded. Let us meet again, Brave Pags. And that is where we will leave it this episode, guys. Next time, we'll get some better arms and or armor. And um, we might be done with that cave. I think that was the big treasure. Definitely stat boosts were pretty good. So we will see where to go next time with a handy dandy guide. And until then, Gooby.